perform transformations on the movable quadrilateral until it matches quadrilateral NEUT, quadrilateral newt right over here, are the two figures congruent. So we have our little tools here, but I'm actually going to do it on my scratch pad first to think about how we might want to transform it. So the first thing, it looks like this point right over here would correspond to point E once we shift it over and then maybe dilate it down and then reflect it over. So let's try to do this. So the first thing, if we were to, if we were to translate, translate, so how much are we going to translate by? So we're going to move to the right by one. So we're going to, in the x direction, we're going to increase by one. And in the y direction, we're going to go up by, we're going to go from negative four to one. So we're going to translate by one, five. And so that's going to put us, that's going to put our figure someplace, it's going to put our figure like this. So that point is going to be right over here. Everything is going to go in the x direction by one, and then one, two, three, four, five in the y direction. So this line is going to now, is going to look like, is going to look like that. So one, and then one, two, three, four, five is going to go right over there. So that's going to go right over, right over there. I'll try my best to draw it, and then one in the x direction, and then one, two, three, four, five in the y direction. So it's going to look, it's going to look something like this, or it's going to look like this right after that transformation. And now what we could do, let's see, we could we could either reflect first, or we could try to scale it down first. So let's try to scale it down. Let's try to dilate it. So let's dilate it, dilate, and let's make our center. I don't want to change this point right over here. I like it sitting there, because that seems to be the point that it corresponds to. Let's put the center there. So let's put the center at the point five comma one. So the center is going to be right over there. And we essentially want this line, this line, which has length six, to be scaled down to have length three. Or essentially, we want this point right over here, which is six to the left of this point, we want it to be three to the left of this point. So we want it to get half as far. So we want to scale, scale by one half. So then that's going to get the figure. This point is going to be over here. This point, which is in the x direction, or in the y direction, tw two away, is now going to only be one away, is now going to be one away. So it's going to be, and in the, and in the, let me make it clear. In the x direction, it says at negative three relative to five, so it's eight away. So now it's only going to be four away after a scale of one half. In the y direction, it's two away, so now it's only going to be now it's only going to be one away. So that point is going to go right over there. And then this point, or actually, actually let me focus on this point right over here. We're not looking up there just yet. This point right over here in the x direction is four away, and in the y direction is four away. So on a scale of one half, in the x direction, it's now going to be two away, and in the y direction, it's going to be two away. So it's going to be look like, it's going to look like this after the scaling. And now it looks pretty clear. We just have to do a reflection around this line. We just have to do a reflection around the line y equals one. Reflect around the line y is equal to one. So let's do all of that on this actual tool now. So first I did the translation. I'm going to translate in the x direction by one and the y direction by five. That got me right over there. And then I wanted to uh, dilate it down. So let me scroll down a little bit. So dilate it about the point five comma one, five comma one, and then by a scale of one half. So that scaled me down. And now I am going to reflect over y equals one. So I'm going to reflect over the line. Well, the line y equals one, it goes from the point zero, I'm just picking two points on it, so it goes from the point zero, one, to one, one. And there we have it, we've gotten to that point. Now, we have to answer their question. Are the figures congruent? Well, no, the first figure was much bigger than this one. And the way that we got it to be able to squeeze into this one is that we dilated it down. These figures would have been congruent if all of my transformations were just translations, reflections, and rotations. But I had to dilate it. I had to scale the figure. Because I had to scale the figure, these figures, these figures are not congruent. No. 
figures are not congruent.